Scorpio, what's going on? It's your girl D with 8th House Energy here to bring you your Jupiter and Retrograde reading. I hope all is well with my Scorpio masses. I love you guys. Thank you so much for all of the support you've given me. I'm celebrating my one year on YouTube and I could not have been uh, happier to have than to have you guys as a part of the journey. Um, it's been amazing. Thank you for all the love and support that you give me. You guys... Um, you, you, you guys truly make me happy because you know I got all this Scorpio placement in me and I got to get it out somehow. And you guys seem to understand me, okay? <laughs> but um, yeah, you guys have been amazing. Thank you so much for all the love and support. And just for those who don't know, who follow the channel, um, my ascending sign is Scorpio. My sun sign is Scorpio. I have a moon in Capricorn. I have a Venus in Scorpio. I have a, uh, Me a Mercury in Scorpio. My Mars is in Aquarius. I'm giving you all my math here. <laughs> my Jupiter's in Sag. My um, Uranus is in Libra. My Pluto's in Libra. My Neptune is in um, Sag. All right, just so you know me. <laughs> all right, so with that being said, we're going to talk about um, Jupiter retrograde. But before I do that, I need to let you guys know that this may not resonate with every Scorpio, okay? Please keep that in mind. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If you are someone who deals with a Scorpio and you're watching this, you may need to reverse the roles um, of the reading, okay, so that it will apply. That may need to happen. Scorpio may even need to reverse the roles, depending on what's going on. Um, if you need a personal reading, my information's in the box below. And right now, throughout Taurus season, any Taurus sun, moon, rising, or Venus in Taurus gets 50% off of readings number two, three, and four. I offer five readings. They're in the box below. Numbers two, three, and four are 50% off of a Taurus sun, moon, rising, or Venus, okay? So without further ado, let's get into your reading. Now, um, Jupiter. Jupiter is the planet of good luck, good fortune. Um, in a woman's chart, when you look at Jupiter, that tells you the ideal characteristics that your husband would have or the ideal uh, husband, okay? Um, so my Jupiter's in Sag, so I guess my ideal mate or my ideal husband would have um, Sagittarius in prominent placements, you know, maybe even his Venus in Sag, you know, because in the woman's chart, it would be the Jupiter. In the man's chart, it's a Venus. He would look at his Venus sign to confirm his ideal mate. So just for you ladies, so that you know that your Jupiter brings you good partnership, good luck, good fortune, good love. Um, and once you link up with this partner, um, a lot of your um, other situations get better as well. Now, with Jupiter, because it's the house of good luck, good fortune, um, you know, good money, good good career, um, you know, beautiful family, everything, just good luck overall in your life, um, we all have Jupiter in certain um, areas of our house. We all have 12 houses in our chart. So whatever house Jupiter is in is the house that you would get good luck, good fortune, good, you know, all good vibes. But when Jupiter's in retrograde, that's the time to look at, okay, well, what can I do better in this particular area of my life so that I can reap the benefits of Jupiter, right? When Jupiter goes direct. Jupiter is in retrograde effective May, is it May 13th? I believe it's May 13th through um, September 12th, okay? I might get the date wrong. It may be May 14th. May 14th through this September 12th. So we have all summer to focus on what area uh, of the house, of our um, chart that Jupiter's in so that once September clears, we can put ourselves on a path where we get all of the blessings that Jupiter will bring us. So for Scorpio, it's in your third house, okay? Um, now, your third house is the house of career, um, ambitions, professional developments, or, or not professional developments, your professional achievements, your career aspirations. Um, your, ten, your third house also talks to um, your moral standing with yourself, how you feel about yourself. And that is, um, it's going to be filtered through the energies of, you know, um, your self-expression, your family ties, your day-to-day -day travel, um, your relationship with your siblings, your uncles and aunts, your cousins, your extended family. Um, also, it has a lot to do with your local travel and your area in which you live. Um, the transportation that you use to get where you got to go. So, for example, you go to the grocery store. How do you go? You, you drive a car. Okay, well, what type of car? That's what um, the third house has to do with as well. So what you want to do is you want to focus on some of the things that Jupiter wants you to, to um, look at 
so that, you know, once Jupiter goes direct, you can start reaping the benefits of all that Jupiter has to bring. So some of the things you may want to focus on in reference to Jupiter being in retrograde is, are you being greedy in this area of life? Are you being selfish? Also gluttony, extravagance, um, wastefulness, self-righteousness, okay, addictions, intolerance, bigotry, ignorance, um, and then showing off. So these are some of the things that will hold you back from getting the rewards of Jupiter in that particular area of your chart. So with that being said, we're going to pull some cards and figure out for you, Scorpio, how this could um, affect you um, and what you may need to focus on so that you can reap the rewards of Jupiter when Jupiter goes direct. Now, it's not saying that you're going to reap the rewards on September 13th, the next day after Jupiter goes direct. But what it is, is setting you up on a path so that anything that would keep you from re reaping the rewards that are going to come for, to you, you're going to be appreciative of it. You're going to be very giving. You're going to be generous because that's what Jupiter is all about. Um, <clears throat> it's all about being a broad minded individual, being happy, being comfortable, being content. Um, it's all about expanding your physical and spiritual outlook as well. And just being a good person. Okay. So this um, energy here. As far as the overall energy for this read, this is going to be the Knave of Pentacles, but it came out in reverse. So this is the Page of Pentacles in reverse. The Page of Pentacles, pages usually talk to me about messages or they talk about children. All right, a message in reference to the Page of Pentacles in reverse could be, you know, financial difficulty. You may not have gotten that call for that job. You may be having some difficulty bringing in money right now. Um, you may have lost a job. Um, you may have gotten an interview, but nothing went, you know, past the interview stages. You know, you may have um, got a call, you, you know, they got your application. Maybe things didn't, you know, didn't pan out. Nothing, you heard, you heard nothing yet. It could be because of COVID or it could be because of maybe you need to look at some of these characteristics in your um, way of doing things and how you do things, how you look at things that might be hindering you from turning this frown upside down. Now, also with the... Um, uh, knave of pentacles in reverse this could talk about just bad news bad luck bad with money bad with finances so it could talk about the way you spend money as well um we'll see so let's see what we got going on here again take this um, energy as it resonates it may not resonate with all scorpios um if this involves other people if you're someone who's watching um and you're not a scorpio you may need to resonate you may need to split the roles okay so we have the um, Ace of Swords energy here, which is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have that clarified with the Devil energy in reverse. That's Capricorn energy. We also have Major Arcana Death in reverse. This is you, Scorpio. Okay, we have that clarified with another Major Arcana, which is the Strength card, Leo energy. We have another Major Arcana, the Emperor in reverse. Okay, this is Aries energy, Major Arcana clarified with the Ace of Cups. So you got a lot of major arcana in this um, area. So, you know, the universe is definitely wanting you to work some things out, Scorpio. So we have the Ace of Swords energy here. The Ace of Swords represents um, the truth of, of a matter. It could represent legal affairs as well. It could also represent um, accepting, um, seeing, seeing something clearly, seeing it for what it is. Um, but with the devil energy here in reverse here, maybe you're getting clarity on something that is just toxic for you. Okay, because this um, devil energy could represent toxic energy um, when it's in reverse that you've let it go. Or with devil energy in reverse here, this could just be about sex. Okay, um, the devil, it talks about uh, recovering from a, an abusive situation or a toxic situation. And it could also talk about, you know, um, sexy times. It doesn't necessarily have to be anything bad. But it could also, um, you know, be the fact that you realize that you're no longer afraid of something. Maybe you're no longer afraid of speaking your truth in an environment that was toxic to you. Okay. Realizing and getting clarity on that. We also have the devil energy in reverse, which is your energy clarified with the um, strength card. So yeah, I'm getting strongly here. You're standing in your power. You are, um, you know, um, in a toxic environment. You're, you're saying, okay, you know what? This is enough. I'm not doing this. You've changed your perspective on things. So you, you stood up for yourself, you commanded self-respect, self-control over the situation. Um, this strength card talks to me about someone who has some, tamed the beast, okay, which is this toxic devil energy that is now in reverse, all right, and you tamed that with truth and clarity, 
okay? Whether that's you speaking your truth to yourself or to others, okay? And, and, and as a result of you claiming that truth, you've totally changed your outlook on things, okay? Um, some of you may have been stuck before, okay? In a situation, not sure what to say or how to say it for whatever reason. This could involve family here because we're dealing with third house energies, but this could also be um, in, a, in a, a position of uh, work as well. All right. You realizing that, you know what, this is not the place for me to be. You know, this work environment is very toxic for me. You know, I need to change something. All right. And it's a permanent change. So for some of you, you may have left the work environment. You may have decided I'm going to go out on my own. I've been waiting to do this. I need to take my chances and do that. OK. And so you're standing in your power with the strength card and you're doing that. OK. Now, with the um, emperor in reverse energy clarified with the ace of cups, now, you may not be um, in the emperor energy upright yet, meaning that you may not be 100% successful um, making a lot of money, which is why the page of, of uh, pentacles is in reverse, but you're well on your way and you're doing what it is that you really love with the ace of cups. So that's beautiful energy here. So this is in, in reference to business. This is, you know, for some of you, you're striking it out on your own, doing your thing. All right. And so with the um, emperor in reverse here, there's some things that you may need to work on. OK, now in reference to Jupiter retrograde, um, it could be things like, you know, wastefulness. OK, maybe you're wasting money in certain ways. You know, you have to change your perspective on money and how you look at money. You know, maybe your spending habits is something that you have to get clarity on. That could be the case for some of you so that you will be successful in your business. Like you're already doing what you love, which is a beautiful thing. OK, but now that you're doing what you love, now you have to focus on the business aspect of it. And with this emperor energy in reverse, that is what could be um, causing issues for you in reference to keeping you from making the money that you want to make. Let's take a look and see what else we have. OK. So we have the Page of Pentacles reversed. We have the High Priestess reversed, Major Arcana. We got two Major Arcanas here again. So we have the High Priestess in reverse, which is Moon Energy. We have the Chariot in reverse, which is Cancerian Energy. We have the Five of Wands, and then we have the Two of Swords. Um, so what I'm getting here is um, there was some cloudy, cloudy judgment, not able to see something, all right, that might have been holding you back and keeping you from moving. All right. And with this five of wands, it could be um, there's all sorts of obstacles that are keeping you um, from moving. It could be a lot of drama, it could be a lot of aggravation. Um, the chariot in reverse also talks about the, this is ruled by cancer. Cancer talks about the home. OK, so this talks about it could be about family, um, your relationship with your mother. Um, and see, when we have the three of we have the third house here, we have um, relationships with your family, your siblings, your aunts, your uncles. So that for some of you, this could be a family situation here um, in reference to maybe you standing your ground towards your family members. OK, there could be some um, issues going on with the family here that could be as a result um, affecting your money. Maybe you need to move away with the cancer energy in reverse here. This is you not being able to move away from a lot of obstacles with the five of wands. This could be the jealousy, the hate, the envy, the deceit. Um, it could be your friends or it could be your family members, one or the other. OK, but with the two of swords here, you're trying to make a decision as to what you need to do. And I'm getting here with the high priestess energy in reverse that you're not sure what it is that you need to do. You're not seeing that what you need to do is you need to move or some of you need to relocate. OK, you need to relocate away from because a lot of you have family members who are jealous of you, envious of you. They compete with you. You know, there's a lot of drama going on here and you're sitting here with this two of swords thinking like, OK, Maybe I should move, maybe I shouldn't. But, you know, for some of you, that might be what you need to do. That might help your financial situation. Because a lot of people don't realize the location that you're in um, has a lot to do with your financial situation as well. So some of you may just need to relocate. Um, we have the Two of Pentacles energy here. We have the Page or the Knave of Swords. We have the Two of Cups. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Wow, you guys, there's this person who's walking around the city with a pony, a little pony, one of those little ones. I kid you not. I'm sorry I got thrown off track, but if you were just sitting, I'm sitting here in my office. I happen to look up out the window. Here's this woman walking with the little pony across the street. She did it yesterday, too, when I was doing Gemini's video. I'm sorry. So <laughs> back to what we were doing. I digress. 
You have the Eight of Swords reverse. Wow. Okay. Just walking around with a little pony. I'm wondering how you take care of that. Are they taking care of it properly? Just walking down the street. Now, I live in a city. Just walking down the street with a little pony. My neighbor who lives two dollars up sent me an email and 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 showed me this is <laughs> showed me this is what I have to wake up to in the morning. The same pony. So it's in our neighborhood. So somebody in the neighborhood has a little ass pony and they're just walking around the streets with it. Yo, insane. All right, I digress. So let's see what's going on here. So we got the two of pentacles here. There they could be juggling finances here. We have the page of swords here, which could be um pages to me represent messages or represent children. Some of you, you know, you may have children that you have to consider in reference to your, if you decide you want to relocate. Um, the Page of Swords could also represent that you're not speaking to someone. You're deciding on if you're going to speak to someone or not. We have the Two of Cups, which is partnership. So this could be um, a love relationship as well that um, could be causing you issues here. Um, or working together with someone in partnership is what I'm getting. And with the Knight of Pentacles, it's going to take some work. It's going to take some time. It's going to take some effort. It's not something that's going to happen overnight. But with the Eight of Swords in reverse, you know this. You realize this. So for some of you, you're considering a partnership. Maybe, um, you know, partnership may help your business. Okay, for some of you who are um, doing business. So you might be getting messages of people who may want to collaborate with you. OK, um, this collaboration, um, it may, you know, as far as the money is concerned, it may take some time with the with the Knight of Pentacles energy here. But that really involves you reading over the paperwork, understanding what the partnership entails, because um, the Knight of Sword, the Knight of uh, Pentacles is Virgo energy. Virgo energy is very analytical. You know, the Knight of Swords, he's somebody who will move forward with a situation after he understands everything that's involved. He reads the documents. He asks questions in reference to what's on the contract. Um, how long is it going to last? What are we going to be doing? How is this going to work? How are we going to be paid? And then once all that is ironed out and they feel comfortable with it and, you know, the legalities are taken care of, as well as, you know, the actual understanding of what's going to happen and how this is going to grow, then they're willing to um, to move forward. And so some of you may be um, experiencing a situation where you may be having people reach out to you whether it's via email, whether they're calling you, um, and you're debating on if you want to uh, work with people in a partnership environment. That's what I'm getting for some of you. If it's not a business situation, you may have family members um, wanting to reach out to you, you know, maybe wanting to connect to you. It could be family members you may not have spoken to in a while. Um, but let's see what else we got for you, Scorpio. more shuffle all right Scorpio so we're gonna have it extended to this video so if you're interested in it the link is gonna be in the box below it's five bucks a month um, so you may want to check that out because you also get to see all the other extendeds I did for all the other planetary alignments on top of just period all the extendeds that I do um, so this month with all the planet, we have like how many planets in retrograde? Let me tell you how many planets are going to be going into retrograde this summer alone between now and June. We have Pluto retrograde, which started April 25th. We have Saturn retrograde, which started May 11th. We have Venus retrograde, which started May 13th. Jupiter retrograde went May 14th. I believe today is the 14th. Then in June, we have Mercury going in retrograde and we have um, Neptune going in retrograde. Um, so Mercury is going in retrograde on June 18th. Mercury, Mercury's going in retrograde on June 18th. Neptune's going in retrograde on June 23rd. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, six planets that are going to be in retrograde at the same time. Um, J Venus goes out of retrograde on June 25th, but before it does, Mercury comes into retrograde and Neptune comes into retrograde. So all of these planets are going to be in retrograde. So it would behoove you you know, especially if you're following your, you know, you're trying to follow your chart, you're trying to better understand yourself and who you are so that you're able to navigate around the world a little bit better, not be so confused. Um, and if you're doing that, five bucks a month is going to save you. It's going to help you tremendously because you get to see all the extendeds for all the retrogrades I do for you. All right. And you get to check all the other placements in your um, in your chart as well. So I digress. We have the death card showing up again. This is your energy, Scorpio. All right. So this is about change, transformation. 
Um, this is about um, ending things, things coming to an end, things um, beginning again, things never going back to the way that they were before. All right, well, let's see what we got going on here. Ooh, you got the world card here showing up as the current situation. Major Arcanas. We got two Major Arcanas showing up again. All right, so for the current situation, we have the world card. All right, so this represents... Um, Oh, I got I got tripped out. The world card. <laughs> I have I'm having a brain fart. This is the um this is oh god. The world card is Oh, Scorpio, why do I have a brain fart? Anyway, I'll, I'll come to it in a minute. The challenge is the <laughs> the uh the the knave or the page of cups in reverse. Okay, so that's the challenge. The page of cups in reverse. What your spirit guides, your guardian angels, your ancestors, your higher self are trying to tell you or want you to embody is the energy of justice in reverse, major arcana. Now, where your head is at is the two of wands in reverse. And the outcome here is the king of wands. This is Leo energy. The two of wands represents Aries energy, and that's in reverse. So with the world card, this is also about travel. So again, this could talk to some of you um, needing to relocate out of your... Some of you, um, you may need to move. Is what I'm getting strongly here. Um, you may need to move. Your relationships with your family and friends may get better. Or just because of the fact that, it, you know, you just need to move out of the area in which you're living in for a lot of you. And you will be a lot more successful. It's really interesting how astrology will tell you these types of things. Because um, relocation can hinder your business growth and you, you know, just your overall luck and success in the world. Um, and I've known this for myself as well is um, in certain areas that I live in, um, I was extremely um, unsuccessful financially. Um, but when I moved away from my hometown, um, I was able to get jobs and, and um, get into business partnerships where I've made the most money I've ever made in my life. And also when I worked in areas where I was born, like when I, where I was born, if I moved back to that hometown, like I made the lowest amount of money I've ever made in my life. <laughs> so that can happen sometimes. But um, so this may be the case for some of you. You just may need to relocate. OK, um, now with this um, challenge here being the two of cups in reverse. The Two of Cups in Reverse, I'm sorry, the Page of Cups in Reverse. The Page of Cups in Reverse can talk to an energy of someone who is um immature this could be immaturity okay um your growth could be stifled you know you may be doing what you love but your business growth could be stifled here that's the challenge it's stifled you're not able to grow what it is that you love um the universe is saying you know your justice you getting you know you're not going to get your fair justice you're not going to get what you truly deserve okay if you stay in this area um, this could also talk about closing out a cycle as well, but we'll talk about that in a second. Now, where your head is at is the two of wands in reverse here. So it's like you, um, you're not looking at your options or you don't feel you have any options or the options you have, you're overlooking them. Um, and we had that high priestess in reverse energy, which talks about clouded judgment. So maybe it's just that you're not seeing other options, um, that you can take to actually take action in order to you know, make things better for yourself. But what I have here at the um, end here is the king of wands. So you're going to actually embody that masculine energy and you're going to actually physically use that yang energy, which is the masculine energy, and you're going to take action in some way, shape or form. Okay, you're going to get very creative with this. Um, some of you, you know, once you do, your creative energy is going to just poof, it's just going to come to you. All right. And this is where you're going to be able to be successful. But your creative energy could be blocked because of the environment you're in, or it could be blocked because of the negative energies that you have around. Some of you, you, you have negative family members around you. You have family members who um, don't respect you, who don't treat you fairly, who don't um, um, really truly have any love for you because they don't even love themselves. It's unfortunate and it's sad. <clears throat> but for some of you, you need to close out the cycle with, with some of those family members by either um, moving away from them or just moving all together. And it's unfortunate for some of you, but that is what the case is here is what I'm showing. Because the death card talks about ending, 
ending things. Now, let's see what other cards we have here. So we have the death card as the overall energy, major arcana. This is all about transformation and changing. Um, I'm getting immaturity here, here. So maybe you're still dealing with some family members where you've outgrown the um, dynamics of the situation. It could be a family situation, which is very petty because we had the five of wands in the last spread. So talking about arguments, competition, jealousy, rivalry, all these types of things that be going on. And you are to the point where it's like, you know what, I want to leave that behind. I don't want to participate anymore. So not only am I ending that, I'm, I'm closing out this cycle with the world card here. Okay, is what I'm getting strongly. We have the two of swords energy here, as well as the king of cups. <clears throat> the seven of swords, okay. And we have the three of pentacles in reverse. For some of you, this could be your, your partner as well. It could be that your partner is hindering you from financial success. So not only could it be family members for some of you or the location that you're in for some of you, it could be your partner that you're with. Or it could just be that, you know, with the Two of Swords here, you're debating on if you are going to, you know, be kind and loving and, and, and you know, your normal self because this is your energy. This is your energy twice here. Okay, this is the King of Cups and the Death card. So this is all about you. Now, what I'm getting here is with this Two of Swords here, you're debating on something. You're deciding on something. Okay, and um, you want to make a decision, but for some reason you're holding off on making a decision. All right, but there's some deceptive energy around you here with the Seven of Swords, and I'm not sure what that is. But we have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. This could represent... The Seven of Swords could represent maybe you're not telling people what you do to make money because maybe you feel that you don't get support from your family. Maybe you feel your family won't support you. Um, some of you, like I said, you've um, never gotten, you never really got support from your family no matter what you did. But some of you with your entrepreneur endeavors, you're finding that you're not getting support from your family or you don't feel your family will support you. I'm getting here with the Seven of Swords that, you know, basically... A lot of you, you, you realize that your, your, your family doesn't support you. Not realizing it, but you're accepting that fact that your family doesn't support you. Some of them, you know, they don't want you to be happy. This is really sad. Really sad. Mm. So we have the Ace of Wands in reverse. We have the Seven of Wands. The Nine of Swords. The Ten of Cups. And the um, knave or the page of wands in reverse. So I show that there's just some disinterest here. Rejection, disinterest. Seven of wands energy is defending yourself. Um, defending your beliefs and your values. What you're passionate about with the seven of wands. Um, and then we have the nine of swords. You, you know you being stressed out about this. And with the ten of cups, your family issues here. And you're just not interested. So what I'm getting here is your family, you know, a lot of you have been rejected by family members or you feel rejected by family members. Um, give me one second. Let me take a sip of water. A lot of you with the Ace of Wands, you're feeling rejected by your family members. Um, it's like you, you constantly are at battle with them. Um, with this Ace of Wands in reverse and the Seven of Wands, it's like... You fight, you break up, you know, you don't talk, then you guys get back together. You fight, you break up, you get back together. You know, and it, it, it's constantly, it, it's, it's, it's really a headache. And this is what you deal with with your family, with the Ten of Cups energy. The Nine of Wands, constantly stressing you out. Your, your family is what stresses you out. For some of you, your family is what you call the bane of your existence. And you just, you're no longer interested in this anymore. You don't feel passionate about it. You know, you don't feel passionate about that, that family connection. Because of the types of energy that your family gives off to you. Like some of you are in really dysfunctional family environments. Super dysfunctional. And you know this is what's keeping you from being successful. Not only are they not supportive of you. For some of you they're not supportive of you. They never have been. 
They're very, a lot of them are very immature. This could have been something that started in childhood. Okay, especially for some of you, this is about siblings here with this page of cups in reverse. This is about siblings. It could be about cousins, aunties, uncles, nieces, and nephews. Um, a lot of this type of energy here. But it's definitely some family issues here with the Ten of Cups. This is about family here. And just not having any interest to continue to go through this vicious cycle uh, with them that you've been going through. So Pi um, I was going to say Pisces. So Scorpio, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the extended. The link's going to be in the box below. We're going to clarify these cards. We're going to get a better understanding of what could be going on as far as the family dynamics that you are interested in walking away from because you're definitely transforming and changing and you um, are no longer interested in dealing with this. Like, this, this rejection is terrible, is what I've been getting. This is terrible. Like, you're constantly having to defend yourself against, you know, family members. And it's becoming a headache for you. It's become a headache for you. And as a result... Like, this, this is terrible. The Nine of Swords and the Ten of Cups, constantly stressed out over family drama, family squabbles. And it's to the point where you just don't have any, you just you just can't do it anymore. You don't have any desire to be part of this with the Page of Wands in reverse. So, yeah, we're going to go into the extended. We're going to find out what Jupiter is saying that you should be doing. In the last spread, we saw that maybe you should relocate. Here we have the world card saying that this could be, you know, part of this is relocation, but part of this is wrapping it up. Now, is Jupiter saying that you should end things with these family members because you're not going to be able to resolve things? Or is Jupiter telling you you should work on things? We're going to find that out in the extended and we're going to find out, you know, if, it, if you should work on things, what family members and what you should work on and how you should go about it. Um, and if this is all about saying, okay, you know, chalk it up, and, and just move away from them and close out the communication, then we're going to find out if that's what the case is and if you should even relocate. Again, for some of you, this could be your, your um, immediate family members because the third house, again, deals with cousins, brothers and sisters, aunts and uncles. So there could be some childhood situations that are going on that have to be resolved in one way, shape or another, and we'll find that out for you and extend it. So Scorpio, if this resonated with you, please let me know by clicking the like button. I love you guys. Subscribe. <clears throat> hit the notification bell when you, so you know I when I post. Um, the link for the extended is in the box below. And um, don't forget about the promo going on for the Taurus season. I love you guys. I'll see you in the extended or in the next video. Peace out.